composers judge their ideas way too early. Now every scale, if you play through it, has its own emotion. They differ from each other. There is a reason why, for example, the tribes of the Ionian, right, are known for, well, being very intellectual, calm, friendly. And you can hear this in the Ionian scale. That was actually part of their musical culture. When you look at the Dorian tribe, those guys have been very aggressive, actually. And if you listen to a piece that is based on the Dorian scale, it actually sounds like a call to the arms. And the Dorian scale is just fantastic for that type of storytelling. Each of those church modes, they have different emotions to them. Now that is good to know, because once we know this, we can change the scales purposely to manipulate the emotion of what we want to evoke in our audience. So the plan is to create something that we call scale flows, a technique that you can apply even later. So provided you wrote something already all based on just one scale first, you can go back after the fact and you can change the scale for just a few bars. Let's say here something happened that was uplifting in the scene and the director came to you and said, well, I like it, but it's not really positive enough. Can we do something that helps this uplifting character in that scene at that moment? Then you know instantly, well, actually, yes, we can. Let's go to the Lydian. And coming from the Phrygian beforehand, which is a minor scale, now that is a dramatic change, a change that you will hear. And I want to play you first the very unimpressive piano sketch, which is exactly the thing that we are looking at right now. And then we will switch to a strings arrangement. And out of a sudden, you will hear the beauty coming out of these scales. Do you know what one of the most common problems is with the way composition is being taught, the conventional way? It is that composers judge their ideas way too early. I have a guess that a lot of composers would throw this sketch away because it doesn't seem valuable. It doesn't seem to be quote unquote good music. But let me play you the strings arrangement and let's see what those guys would have thrown away. Here we go. This is wonderful. Don't throw it away. Oh my God. <laughs> Mind you, I, I want to show you one little thing that I believe some of you might not have seen. Everybody is being trained to compose on the circle of fifth. Now, who said that you can't compose on the circle of fourth or the circle of thirds? And this is happening right here. So the RC4 stands for four chromatic steps in between those tones and there is a little arrow pointing up. So that was our starting note, just picked randomly, because it doesn't matter, you will get back to your starting point anyway. 
So we picked the B-flat for no real reason, honestly. For four bars, which is kind of boring, I know. Then let's go four steps up, which brings us to a D note in an octave position so that we don't run out of the bass range, but still it's a D note right here. From that guy, let's go four up still, which brings us to the F sharp. From this guy, another four up brings us back to the starting point. You don't have to follow these conventional ways all the time. If you want to write a piece that resonates with a big audience, you should have at least some cliches in there. Because guess what? Cliches work. And that's totally fine. But this is definitely not following a lot of cliches other than major triads, minor triads, a little bit of diminished triads even here on the Locrian. Recognize this three plus three structure. And that is really the interesting part to me as a composer. It's not messing with your overall idea of composing with triads and a line. That is still the case, but let's be a little bit more interesting by not going with the circle of fifth, but maybe with the circle of thirds or fourth or seconds. And I think that is just a very inspiring and almost creative way of using all the notes available. This all follows technique creation follows technique. It is a process. And as you can tell right here with all of these different guys showing up on top, the scales, this is exactly what creates these changes in color. If there was no change in the scale, then you would have the impression this is all based on one tonal center. But let's be more interesting with the story. Nobody wants to listen to a boring story. So let's not be boring. Many thanks for your time. I truly appreciate it. And I hope that I could give you some great value. And speaking of value, you should absolutely subscribe to the channel and never miss any of the new videos. So please smash that subscribe button and stay connected. It would mean the world to me.